Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. Tonight we're going to look at Spring Boot and how to handle a list of request par parameters. So you know that you can make a question mark in uh, after your URL, and then you can actually place something called query par parameters or request parameters. That, that, that is the, the name for them. Uh, but what if you want to pass on a list? Uh, how do we do that? And this is exactly how to do that. First of all, I've not written the code uh, yet, so we have to create a new uh, controller. So I will have something called, this is uh, an old project where we have, it's a, it's a Spring Boot project I made it by pressing File, New, Project right here. And then I chose Spring Initializer, I chose Java, I chose 17, I chose Maven, I chose Next. And then I selected, um, then I selected Lombok and... Um, and the web and uh, yeah but that, and that, that's what we're going to use uh, tonight we're, we're not going to make something too fancy we're just going to create a destination controller so let us say that we have some um, yeah we have some captains from the spaceships and they um, maybe they want to uh, maybe want to propose some new destinations where we could send some spaceships uh, one day if we feel like it right maybe there are some minerals we need or something uh, only imagination limits our use case right now here. So uh, so let us create a REST controller right here. And we can also create a request mapping. So this means that then the, the, the first part will be destination. And then we can say something like this. Uh, public string will just return a string. And then we say um, uh, propose uh, something. And then we say... And here, here comes the trick. Here we would like we would like something called a request parameter, and of course we can use a request param like this, and then we can also say what the name of it should be, um, suggestion, like this. And here we could then have um, a, an array of strings, and this could be then the suggestions with s maybe, right? So then we have multiple suggestions right there, and we need a get mapping on that one. Get mapping. Um, of course, this could also be a post mapping or something else, but we are just uh, suggestion box. So that is the endpoint suggest. Oh no, I will just call it box, just because then the the, the risk for of me uh, misspelling it later on is is less than or smaller. So okay, so here we have this one right here, and what we'd like to do, we would actually like to go through each of these. Uh, yeah, we can create a list. We can also see if it works with list off, but now we will just say um, list off, and then we will say the suggestions like this, and then we can stream. It's just because we can stream it. And then we can say that we want to, then we can say that we want to stream for each, and then we can actually print them out system. And this is a method reference system out print line, print line like this. This is called a... Uh, a method reference so what what do we do we actually just we just print them all out and then we say um then we say return um thank you uh, for your suggestions suggestions and we can all we can also return them actually as a string let us do that also now the now that we are playing with with them right here so let me say stream let me say map and then we actually um, we can actually collect them as one. How is it that we do that? I just forgot that. Maybe it's a flat, it's a flat map or something like that. Um, we actually do not want to map them. We we just want to create one long string. I just forgot how to do that. Um, but that is okay. That is okay because. Um, because 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 I'll just do it. Uh, or good old fashioned way for uh, string is yes, in and then each of these and I don't think I need the list actually so then we have the suggestions right there so then now we go to each Java string right there and then we say and then we have a string a string a string results like this and then we just increase the result results and they will say thank you for your suggestions plus the results. So that is the, all of the strings can get needed together right there. I think if we have a list of, we can actually use it to string actually. I think that would also have given us a good result. 
Um, actually, I'm pretty sure that 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 would also have given us. Let us just try that instead. So let us just print this one out right here. So this is what we have. So we have a uh, we have this uh, endpoint right here, and let us now. Let us start our application up and see what happens, and then we will start a. Then we have a curl script right here. So I'll go to, I'll create a new folder named new directory scripts right here, and then we will have a curl suggestions curl suggestions dot or we can also use a package that we can use a package that the JSON file that we have right here. Actually, I think we'll do that because it's just easier. So I have a package of JSON file with a lot of scripts. So I'll say curl uh, suggestions like this. So here we're going to curl, and here we have the local host. Yes, destinations, and then we have that box. And let's just make some. Let's make some spaces right there. So here where we have the box, the, here we want some suggestions, right? So we will want, want to say suggestion. Suggestion equal to uh, maybe one, maybe a good suggestion could be Mars. So how do we add more suggestions? That was the big question, right? That, that was what this video is actually about. So we can actually write comma right here, Pluto, Pluto, and maybe also Alpha Centauri, right? Alpha Centauri. If I want to make use spaces, of course I need to URL encode this string right here, and I don't want to do that, so. I'm not going to use any spaces uh, right here. Um, yeah. So let us see how this actually works. So I'll say curl, localhost, 8080, blah, blah, blah. And now it started up the wrong. It started up the wrong. Um, I don't want to use the terminal right there. So let us just write terminal. Terminal right there. And we want to start up. Bin bash, it is actually already started. So what do we want to do? We want to um, first of all, I could I could solve this multiple ways. One way would be to configure uh, npm with the correct uh, with the correct terminal uh, to use. I, I don't have any dot npm rc file right there. That's that is why I have to go to my terminal and then write curl like this instead. Connection refused. Okay, destinations. Um, no, no, no. let us just check. So we have local host and oh, 8090. It's another port, right? Look, my application is configured to use 8090. Of course, then we also have to use 8090 when we curl our application, or else nothing will happen. So we will just go back to the terminal and I will say paste, and here we have it. Curl. We did not get any response. I didn't. I didn't like that. But um, maybe we need, need minus v, so we get the response right there. So eighty ninety. We get a four o nine. Four one. Sorry, unauthenticated. Is that because I've been so smart that I added security on this project? Yes, I've added security on, on this one right here. So we have to have a... Uh, we have to add a username, Mike, and password, kiss me. Okay, so I will. Uh, we will just add that also. So we'll go back to this one right here. So this means minus U, Mike, and minus P, kiss me. Like this, that I will then add that to the header, so it will give us the right authentication in the header. So we will just try again. Yes, me. And that is because it did not like this part right here. So we need to write kiss me like this, I think. Oh, I don't think I know. So that is because we have I've added some basic authentication on this one right here, not found. Destinations box. Okay, so now I cannot find the path, but it was not 
on authenticated at least. Let, me, let us just try destination without the S, without the S. So I'll just try that destination and then box. And look what actually happens right here. So we actually got all of our, we, got, we actually, we got to translate it correctly into a list or else we would have gotten an error. If we go to the back end, then we can say, see that we actually get all of them printed out right there. So that is awesome. This means that we end up right here um, as suggestions right here. But can we do this another way? So this means that we actually took in a list of suggestions by using comma. So now let us try in another way. Curl suggestions two. I'll, I'll name this one two. And now I'll try something else. I'll say and and we'll just find some other uh, planets like uh, Jupiter. Jupiter, and we will say and look here. That this is another way to actually say that we have a list. And instead of Alpha Centauri, then uh, then we will have the maybe just the Moon, also a bit closer. Jupiter, Mars, instead of Mars, we will have Venus, Venus, and let us try that one instead. So now we have another way of actually formatting our request parameter. We have, we are using the same request parameter multiple times in the same string. So we have the same key multiple times and we have it separated with the and, the and signs right there. So let us see how that turns out. I'll go to my terminal and I will say, and I will say control V and then enter. And not found. And again, it should not be destinations without the S. Let me just delete it. It's got some copy pasting right there. So let me just delete, delete the S. So. This time it was not it was not interpreted uh, as we would actually expect it to. So we will actually say we'll actually go to run right here. Then we'll see that it said Mars Pluto, and then the second time it did not. Maybe it's because I copy pasted it wrong. So I'll go to curl destination not s, and then we'll say paste enter. Thank you for your suggestions. At this time, I only get the first one suggestion. So this this time, I only get the first one. I do not get the second one. Okay. So how come? Let us try with equal sign suggestion. Let us try with multiple equal signs. Instead, copy and paste. This time we just got it as long one long string, so that was also not good. So we need to use the comma. Uh, we need to use the comma uh, for when we are dealing with, uh, uh, with with Spring Boot at least, and we want if we want we want to map it into a um, if we want to map it into a list. Of course, you can map this manually if you feel like it, right? Um, let us just try something else now. Now we will say list of strings like this. And I guess, and again, the request parameter is suggestion. So let us try again. We'll just uh, curl again, right here. So this time we'll use the comma notation, right here. So copy and paste, and it works fine. So we, it can actually be converted directly into a list. We do not have to use an array. That is also quite cool. That is quite cool. So, and again, here we see all of the suggestions, Mars, Pluto, Alpha Centauri. Uh, actually, we forgot to restart the server. So let us just uh, restart the server. We actually don't know if it works yet. We have to restart it. So we'll just do that. And if you ask what kind of, well, why, uh, why is it such a beautiful theme, color theme I have? That's because I'm using the Cobalt, Cobalt color theme. It is free to download from the marketplace, and um, yeah, I just uh, I like it. I like it so cool again. And yes, now we just got two list back because um, because the code now you see here here we have the list suggestions. We do not we don't want to make a list of list of it. Let me just take the 
suggestions, of course. We can skip one of these lists, or we don't have to convert it into a list anymore. And so we will just restart the server once again. And if you want to, if you want to have this code right here, it will be located on my uh, GitHub as usual. So we play again a bit with the requests parameters right here, and then now we've got this one right here. So this was just one list with the results. So we actually quite happy. We're quite happy now, and here we have them. Yes, it works. It's cool. It's Spring Boot. It's fun. It's very efficient to to use and work with. It's great, and uh, I hope uh, I hope you learned something. And uh, I am sorry if I made too many detours before I, we found the result. But uh, I can see in the comments that actually uh, you like the detours uh, a lot. Actually, uh, you can see that. Uh, yeah, then you can see how uh, I also work, and that, that it's normal to actually be stuck and to make mistakes and to forget uh, basic stuff. And uh, yeah, so that that is a good part about that, right? So, but that was abusing lists as um, parameters, per, per, um, requests per parameters or query parameters. So thank you very much for watching. Have a great evening and I hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye.